Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make these delicious chocolate chip banana muffins. Look at those. I really need you there, but I'm saying. So this banana and chocolate chip muffin recipe has been a, down as a written recipe on my story highlight for a long time and it's been a really popular recipe. So I thought about ripe bananas, so why not make a video tutorial to go alongside with it. So without further ado, let's get stuck in with the recipe. First of all, we're going to need the start of our show, some ripe bananas. As you can see, mine are lovely and ripe. The more ripe they are, the sweeter they are, the better they are for the cake. So I've got three small ripe bananas. So I have a bowl to mash them up in. Let's peel them. There's a debate on which way is the right way to peel a banana, but let's not get into that. <laughs> I'm sure there's more important things in life to worry about than how the right way to peel a banana. <laughs> so I've got a fork here which I'm going to use to mash up the bananas. You use whichever tool you find most convenient. You literally just need to get stuck in there, mash them up until they're nice and mushy. Make sure it's smashed really, really well so that it combines into your cake batter really well. Once your banana is all mashed up like so and resembles well, actually, I won't say what it resembles, but it should look like this. We'll move on to the next step. So to measure out our butter, we need our electric scale. We need a heatproof bowl because I'm going to be melting the butter in a microwave. That goes on top of our scale. Scale on. 150 grams of unsalted butter. Cut it into small pieces so it melts easier. You can also use margarine in this recipe if you like. Um, and you don't really have to melt that if you use that. But I think butter just gives it a nice, richer flavour. And we're going to melt that in the microwave. And we take just over a minute in the microwave to melt. While that's melting, let's pop our ovens on. To bake these muffins, you're going to need to put your oven on at 160 fan, 180 if you don't have a fan-assisted oven, and that is gas mark 4. Our butter is nice and melted. We're going to allow that to cool slightly. Back to our bananas. We're going to measure in our soft brown sugar now. And I am using brown sugar, but you can use just regular granulated sugar if you don't have soft brown sugar. I just think that brown sugar goes nicer um, in these muffins. But by all means, use white sugar. It's fine. 75 grams of soft brown sugar. Dark or light, doesn't really matter. Always make sure your scale is back on zero when you're measuring your new ingredient. And we're going to crack in two eggs too. Two. And also we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Move the scale out of the way. And we're going to go in with our melted butter. You can use an electric mixer, but there's no really need for it. You can just use an a normal hand whisk and just, just whisk away until those are all combined. Make sure your butter's not too hot because you don't want to curdle your eggs. Okay, and then that's done. We're just going to set that aside for now while we measure out our dry ingredients. Put back your scale and your large mixing bowl for this. Sieve on top. Put your scale on. So I like to put my sieve on first and then Put my scale on so that we're not weighing the weight of the sieve and then we can just directly weigh into the sieve okay so 200 grams of self-raising flour and although we are using self-raising flour i still like to use a little bit of baking powder just to give it a bit of extra lift so we're going to do one level teaspoon of baking powder as well and just like a quarter of a teaspoon of salt just a pinch just gonna balance out the sweetness sift those all in now it's just a matter of simply combining our wet and dry. We've got our wet, we've got a dry, I'm just going to mix it all together. And you can just use the same whisk or you can use an electric mixer as well, just until they're combined as well, don't over mix. Okay, so when it looks something like this, we're going to go ahead and weigh in our chocolate chips. Go back underneath. Scale back on zero. 100 grams of chocolate chips. These are optional. You don't have to add them in. Just can leave them out. 
and I'm going to switch to a spatula just so it's easier to fold the mixture. Scrape all the sides down. Just fold those in. And there you have it. You don't want to over mix this, okay? That's enough. Now I have a muffin tray lined with 12 muffin cases. I like to use muffin cases, they just hold better. Uh, and the muffin tray helps to hold the shape as well. Simply just spoon the mixture in, or I like to use an ice cream scoop just to make it easier. Um, about half a scoop in each one. Try to be as even as you can with your batter distribution. Just make sure wherever you think it's a little bit less, just add a little bit more so they're nice and even. There we have it, that was really easy, really simple to do, done within 15 minutes. So they bake in a preheated oven for 18 minutes now. Oh, um, if you want to optionally, just so that you can see chocolate chips at the top, you can go ahead and bung a few chocolate chips at the top if you want to, but it's completely optional. Now they're ready for the oven. Bismillah. See you in 18 minutes. Our muffins are ready. I'm excited. They smell amazing. Let's turn the oven off and take them out. It could take anywhere between 18 and 20 minutes depending on what your oven's like. But they look absolutely perfect. Look at these guys. Oh. Don't be tempted to get stuck straight in. You know they're ready when you touch them, they should bounce back up, okay? That means they are ready. Um, don't burn your fingers. Another way to check is just to poke a sharp knife in the middle. If it comes out clean, that means they are ready to go. So we're gonna allow them to cool for a few minutes inside the tin, because obviously they're too hot to take straight out. And then after a few minutes, we're gonna remove them from the tin and then cool them on the rack by themselves completely. So they've been cooling for a few minutes on the tray. I'm now going to remove the tray and I'm just going to take them off the tray and put them onto the cooling rack to cool completely. Once they're cool completely, you can store them in an airtight container and they will last up to four days. Not that cake ever lasts that long anyway. And here they are, delicious banana chocolate chip muffins. Let's take a look at the inside of one of them. Ideally, you'd want to let them cool a bit more before you open one up. But just to give you an idea of how soft they are. Oh, these are absolutely perfect. So soft. They go amazingly well with a nice hot cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Let me know if you try the recipe in the comments below.